Rain barrel water is Brindle's favorite. Anyway, outside the vine house, I have, these are all my cuttings and seedlings. There's uh, all kinds of things in here. These are a whole load of horse chestnuts grown from seed, a fig. Um, then these are um, spindle seeds are in here. So we won't see anything for a while until the spring. But in here, these are cherries that we dug out from other locations. These are some oak trees. These are two oak trees that grew from an acorn. And we're gonna start planting them out. It's January after all. So this big cherry is gonna have a new home. So these, this is a January job. In anticipation of spring, here's my strawberries. I actually should really take the dead leaves out to clean them up a bit. That's a job I can do at some other stage. These are sweet williams I have to transplant out somewhere. So there's loads to do, always. You can never get bored. So there's lots of stuff to plant out there. Grown from seed or cuttings, that's what all those are. Trees, shrubs, hydrangeas, etc. And these oak trees were grown from our oaks here. So they're gonna start planting out now. Now last year, when we planted loads of spindle, I pruned all the spindle. There are about 20, 30 plants. And the prunings I stabbed into the soil here. And we have a good few. This is a spindle. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that was not going. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there's 17 of these spindles that are probably viable out of, I think it was about 25, which is not bad for the drought we had. So I'm gonna dig those up and they're gonna go and be planted in amongst the oak trees and cherry trees. So that's my spindle cutting bed and hopefully I'll do the same again this year, do a load of spindle cuttings to get them going. So I love spindle and so does the wildlife. You can see the top part of this is dead, but the bottom part looks like it's living. So some of these might work and some of these might not, but that's, that's a living bud right there. So hopefully this will work next year or rather this year, I will work water my cuttings more. Last year, I forgot all about them because I was involved in other things. So they dried out a bit, which is why I don't think so many were successful. But those are my spindle cuttings. The spindle seeds that I planted, I won't see the results until next year. But the thing to do is, see, it's still green. So I think it's still viable, the shoot. But this one is definitely viable because you can see it has two growth spurts on it. So I'll just prune off the dead bits. Oh, and this one, see, this one's viable. It has, um, it's got offshoots as well. And this one has offshoots as well. So that's, that's a successful series of um, cuttings, which I'm very pleased with. So here's the beginning of the oak tree, the line of oak trees, the oak tree plantation. So we've fenced it in with this high wire I bought. There's gonna, I'm gonna put additional bit of staking to keep it up high. That's so horses don't lean over and chew on these baby oak trees and spindle and rowan and Gilderose and cherry. So this oak tree, uh, my family planted this last August. I think it was August or September, I can't remember. This acorn 
was planted the year my niece was born, the youngest niece. So it's about eight years old now. So this is an eight year old oak that we just transplanted out in August. This is a cherry tree. There's gonna be, we're gonna be mulching more of this as well. So here's another cherry tree. Here is another oak tree. This is a younger oak tree. It's only about four years old, maybe four or five years old. So this is gonna be planted here. So it's a good distance away from the other oak tree, which is right there. So that's oak tree two. Then we've got cherry trees. These are cherry trees that um, I dug up in other locations around the farm where I didn't want them to grow because they'd be eaten by sheep or they were in the garden. And this is another cherry tree from elsewhere here. It's doing well. You can see it's got lovely buds still alive. And then here's oak tree number three. So this is the third oak tree. And this one is five or six years old. It's a different kind of oak tree that, to the one that we had at the top, the first oak tree. So it's got a bigger oak leaf. I don't know what this one's called. Anyway, that is gonna be, we're gonna flesh it out with Rowan, Gilderose, more cherry trees, and spindle. I'll be transplanting some of those spindles here. So this, and we, the fence line goes at an angle because that gate, I don't, if I have a big tractor in, I don't want it to run into that tree there. So the tractor has to have space to come in and out of that bottom gate. So this is, and I'll probably in here will be spindles, rowans, and cherry trees. So there's going to be a, it's going to be a very mixed, a mixed sward planting of trees, if you will. A mixed sward of oaks, rowans, spindle, what did I say? Cherries, gilderose. So it's going to be a real wildlife border. So um, this is, so, it's so nice when I transplant, dig things up and the buds are still healthy. So this will be a really good cherry tree to plant. And when it, once it goes in the ground, it's gonna go like bilio. It's gonna say, yay, woohoo. So that is one of this year's 2022 plantation of trees that we're starting. So we'll dig these out. This is all for weed suppressing and to fertilize but there will be a big circle around it, which won't have this stuff um, on top of it. Just like this oak tree up here. Well, this is a cherry tree, but this oak tree, you can see, we, I'll probably just put mulch or soil around it to, to suppress the weeds. But this is essentially how I mind my young trees, mulch it with, uh, this is cleanings from the stables. Cleanings from the stables and the daggings of wool. And that's how I get my trees going. Isn't that right, dogs? Better pups. Yeah. The winter sun.